Hey guys, so I just had an idea. I'm just in the middle of filming um, another video, which is the um, my dyeing my blue jeans video. But I've been getting a lot of requests recently to do a video on my tattoos, and I thought this is a great time that there's a little bit of sunlight, so you'll be able to see my tattoos clearly. Um, and also I thought I've got a little bit of time to so let me film it in between so I'm going to talk about I haven't got very many tattoos um, but the ones I have got I'll tell you a little bit about them and and you know um, so starting with the one on my left arm I'll do them in order of what I got them so this is my one on my left arm as you can see that is like an orm sign now the reason I got this um, I got this when I was actually 17 years old, um, so that was what, 13 years ago now, so it's actually faded quite a lot, um, and it didn't really hurt um, where I got it on my arm, it's quite, um, it wasn't a very sensitive area. Um, I actually got that because I am Hindu and the Aum is the sort of religious symbol for Hinduism. Now I'm not a deeply religious person at all, um, I was more so when I was a little bit younger, um, so that was to represent that. I'm very proud to be Hindu. Um, of the religion of Hindu religion um, and I'm you know proud to have the Aum sign on my arm um, and that you know obviously shows people that I am um, Hindu people that understand that sign and the symbolism behind that sign um, so that's the first tattoo second tattoo um, I can't show you very easily because I have a dress on um, so I'm going to show you a picture so hopefully that's flashing up somewhere now um, now this oh sorry before I move on to this one this tattoo was actually designed by myself. Now, um, I had um, a Diwali card. Now, anyone who knows anything about Hinduism, we actually um, celebrate at the Festival of Light, which is called Diwali. Um, it's very similar to sort of Chris Christmas Christian people. Um, and it happens in October, November time. Um, and I actually received a Diwali card from one of my family members and it had an Aum sign on it so I used that for the basis of my design um, and I actually sort of traced around it but then made a few adjustments to how I wanted it to look with a little bit of help from my mum so that was designed by myself now the one on my back so you may have seen the picture or I'll flash it up for you again um, this was designed by myself also um, I actually was inspired by Mel B's tattoo she has a tattoo of like a um, a phoenix, something like that on her arm which is like mosaic, um, like a mosaic design and that's what I saw many years ago, um, I think that was about nine years ago and I really liked it and that inspired me to design my bird of paradise which is what I call it um, and I wanted to get something sort of not too large but quite bold and quite statement like down uh, my lower back and down my spine and my lower back um, and hence I got this design done. Now this one did hurt a little, um, especially where it was on the spine did hurt um, and you know but I think it was worth it, it's like I've had it for nine years now, I don't really think about it very much because I don't see it, the only time I really show it is when I go to the beach and where I'm wearing a bikini and maybe I get asked about it but generally you know I don't really wear short tops or anything like that so you can't see it and what I really like about this one is um, I may be able to add to it in the future because the design is you know it's quite open to being added to as well so I might actually add some you know more designs to it or more you know extra around it up the top or lower down um, but I'm not sure so I did design that one that one's about nine years old and it did hurt a little bit um, but it was you know it was something I really wanted at the time and it doesn't really bother me either way right now if I had it or didn't have it um, now my third tattoo I had done when I was 26 so that was four years ago or 27 three or four years ago now and that is the shoulder tattoo a tattoo I get asked about the most and everyone always thinks it's like a, a gecko or a lizard or I can see that now it does to be fair <laughs> look like a gecko or a lizard or something like that um, but it's actually just a design again designed by me um, I believe that I'm not a huge amazingly good designer or anything like that but I know what I like and I'm, I'm you know I can design a simple tattoo 
um, and especially when I have an idea or I'm inspired by something. Now this was an idea that I wanted something to run from the back of the shoulder to sort of the front of the sh front of my shoulder arm. So from the front you can barely see it, just a little tiny bit there and a tiny bit there. But then obviously when I turn to the side you can see a lot more and obviously you can see it from the back. Um, now this was done like I said a few years ago um, this was a little bit painful just on my shoulder at the top here but the rest of it was absolutely fine but this is actually my favourite tattoo and I get asked about this one all the time and where I got it done, who designed it and all that kind of thing so it's a very popular one with other people as well but this is definitely you know, my favourite one and it's just a design it's not a, an animal or gecko or anything like that, it's just a, a, a like kind of an aztec -y style printed kind of you know design. Now my final tattoo is a very simple one and it is the star which I have there. That one, that one I really you know there's not a lot to say about it. Um, I just wanted a star in my low under my kind of in my armpit area just on my inside of my arm. I wanted to see if it was painful um, having it done there just because um, I was thinking about getting more tattoos just in here and I wanted to test out if it was going to like hurt too much um, so I got a little start at the same time as when I got this one done um, I probably am not going to get any more at the moment I'm you know I'm you know, I'm not saying that tattoos are super cool or anything like that these tattoos all you know were designed by me I am quite a creative person and I just you know there's something that I wanted to have done um, I know people say oh when you're old and wrinkly they're gonna look really silly or whatever well I'm not thinking that far ahead right now um, you know I'm enjoying them right now um, and you know they're just a part of who I am right now um, so you know if you are thinking about getting a tattoo and you're quite young do think about it the thing I do with my tattoos is you know I've drawn them all um, because I want them to be original and I don't want anyone else to have the same tattoos as me now many people Hindu people do have this Om sign different variations of it different styles different colors even um, but not the same one because this one was drawn by me um, and I think it's really important that is a really important fact I don't want to just walk into a tattoo shop and just look at a you know through books and just choose out any tattoo and then on the spot get it done that's just not me what I did with these tattoos, I drew them out and then I pinned them up in my bedroom and I literally had them pinned up and I stared at them for months before having them done just because I wanted to know, you know, is it what I want to have permanently marked and inked onto my body and that is obviously a very important factor um, so that's the reason you know that's the best way to do it if you're thinking about getting it maybe either first of all try and get something original maybe someone can draw for you or you can draw yourself um, but secondly once you have that on a piece of paper make sure you maybe put it up somewhere or you know look back at it a few times before getting it done don't just be crazy and spontaneous and go get a tattoo because uh, it like you know I'm sure you are all very aware that it is for life and not just for Christmas um, but overall I'm happy with my tattoos and um, I hope you enjoyed my video and you know many of you asked me about my tattoos if you've got any questions if I've missed anything out please do post it below and I'll come back to you otherwise thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye bye